How to connect C2 dropshipping to Shopify 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an absolutely amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking in great detail and depth about CJ dropshipping and how you can connect it to an amazing amazing e-commerce store called Shopify, okay? And we're going to be doing all of this in great depth and detail, so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to learn everything in great depth and detail when it comes to connecting both these softwares together and getting the most out of them when it comes to importing products to your CJ dropshipping and just, you know, making a good amount of money from a great source. So it's going to be really informational. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so to start things off, what we're going to be doing is obviously you can see you are here on your Shopify. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can either do this directly from CJ Dropshipping or you could do this from Shopify. The easier way would be Shopify. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go into the apps channel and we're going to search CJ Dropshipping. Okay, now once you, you know, search in CJ Dropshipping, and I'm going to click on enter. Once you do all of this, you're going to come here. So CJ Dropshipping free to install. You're going to click on it and you're going to bring it to loading. So it's going to bring you here free to install. Additional charges may apply, etc., etc. So we're going to click on add app. Now, once you click on add app, what's going to happen is it's going to redirect you to the Shopify store where it's going to ask you to install and everything. So we're just going to go ahead and do just that. Now, once all the installation and everything is done, it's going to happen from there is it's going to come here. Now, if you've already logged in with your CJ dropshipping, then it's just going to ask you to directly authorize things. But if you're not, then you could obviously go ahead and create an account and do that. It's really simple, pretty simple account creation. So here we are. We're going to click on authorize and click on confirm. And as you can see, it's going to create my CJ dropshipping straight away. Pretty great, pretty simple and pretty easy stuff to have for your page. Now, once we are done with that, Basically, we're going to come straight over here where it shows us, you know, the basic sheet of dropshipping.com, etc. So how are you going to perceive things from here? OK, now to perceive things from here, it's a bit of a tricky maneuver because uh, what you're going to need to do is obviously import different types of products and import different types of niches or variants to your Shopify store. OK. And I'm going to be talking about just that in a second. Now, uh, the other way that I was telling you in the start of the video that you can connect CJ Dropshipping to Shopify directly from CJ Dropshipping is you're going to come over to my CJ over here. Like once you're on CJ Dropshipping and assuming that we did not connect it earlier, you're going to come over to my CJ. OK, and once we come over to my CJ, basically, it's going to load us in over here and it's going to bring us to the dashboard. Uh, to the basic CJ dashboard. And once you're over here, you're going to scroll down where it says store authorization. And once you do that, you're going to find Shopify. And here is Shopify. You're going to click on it. Now, obviously, we're already authorized. Uh, as you can see, this store of mine, it's already authorized. So we'd have no nothing to worry about. But obviously, if it's not, you could just do it directly from here, then put in your store's URL and everything should be good to go. So that's like, uh, the other way that you can connect both of these. Now, let's go ahead and start discussing the main thing, which is dropshipping products. So how are you going to dropship products from CJ dropshipping? OK, basically what you're going to do is you're going to first of all choose a product. And the fun thing about CJ dropshipping is it actually gives you different providers, as you can see, DHL official provider, and it brings you in three to seven days, which is a pretty good time. So moving on, we're going to scroll down here. OK, and we're going to choose a good product now for drop shipping. Obviously, we need to go with a product that, you know, people actually buy. So most of the products that people buy are either clothing or consumer electronics. So in this case, let's go. First of all, I'm going to show you clothing. Then I'm going to show you consumer electronics. So let's say I'm going to go with a leather jacket you know, because a lot of people wear leather jackets. People love leather jackets. So I'm going to go ahead search up leather jackets and here you can see you get a like good amount of leather jackets over here so let's say i'm going to go with one of these this one looks good so let's go with this and here you can see 
leather jacket, men's leather jacket, basic, you know, the basic outlook of everything. Now, here you are, have it. Leather jacket, men's leather zipper, cardigan, men's jacket, etc., etc. And you can see it has variants. So basically, one jacket has five sizes. So five fours are 20. So basically, 20 variants. Now, uh, basically, you can also see its weight and everything, how the item is described, who is the provider. Uh, the supplier is Yang Industrial. And you can see its, you know, details, descriptions and everything. Now, when it comes to actually listing the product, let me tell you how you're going to do this. So to, you know, actually import your product, you're going to list it to your store and to list it to your store, you're going to click on list. And once you click on list, as you can see, first of all, it's going to show you your store and everything. Now, do make sure that you choose the correct store. Now, I have chosen my eBay store, so I'm going to switch it to Shopify. There we go. Once you do that, we're going to choose your shipping order. So ship my order to obviously I'm going to keep it the U S this is basically where you switch it mostly to. I'm going to keep it that shipping method. Just choose the best one. I'd say DHL because DHL just has a good, uh, you know, timing. Although DHL is I think more expensive as well, but still you get it in three days. So pretty good stuff. Product type. Obviously, you're going to have to add a type. So I'm going to go with fashion. OK, once you do that, confirm, then you can also add a one vendor if you want to. OK, in my case, I'm just going to add uh, John. John is the vendor. Confirm. Once you do that, here you have all these things, you know, all these variants and stuff. So, you know, just get the recommended list pricings. And once we are done with that, you are just going to go ahead and click on list it now. Once you click on listed now, as you can see, listing in progress, you may check listing status on listing. Listed products can be managed and listed. So obviously, we're just going to wait for it to do that. It doesn't take too long. It's going to take a minute, two minutes tops. And uh, once it's done listing all those products, you're going to easily be able to spot them and find them on your Shopify store in the product section. And in the product section, obviously, uh, once we go, you're going to see them right in front of you which is a pretty great thing to be honest. So here you can see, we're going to come up here go to products. We're going to wait for it to load and boom, there you go. So there's your product and you just drop shipped it. And from there on out, obviously you can start putting it on your store for people to buy. And the fun thing about this is you can actually see that they give us the whole description with the photo, the details, the variants, the pictures, the images, the product codes, the SKUs, everything. It gives us the whole lot, which is a really good thing. That's why I would always prefer C to drop shipping in the case of drop shipping with Shopify. So yeah, that is basically how you're going to integrate C to drop shipping with your Shopify in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.